All right, so you know what? <clears throat> if you're one of the um, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people who have to mail out holiday packages this year, well, I'll tell you what, you don't want to do it like this. You don't want to send, find a pouring box, a plain box, and have stickers and writing all over it, and that comes to the door, and you've got this really nice holiday gift inside. Why not make it pretty? Why not bling it up? Well, let me just show you where my inspiration came from. It came from right here. One of our producers, Kim Kapelovic, got this box from her mother, and she had sent her a birthday gift, and she found this box that had the word party on it, and then she added some little stickers, and I'm like, aw, that's so cute because she put some thought into it, so it inspired me. So here's what I did. I found some boxes and I cleaned them up. So here's a few tips. Here's what you're going to want to do. You want to find these boxes. They're really in good shape. And then you want to peel off the tape if you can. Do the best you can getting the stickers off. You're not going to always be able to do that. But the more you can get off, the better you're going to be. If you can't get your stickers off, let me give you a couple of ideas on how you can make your boxes pretty. You can do this. You can decoupage them. Okay, I couldn't get all the stickers off of this box, so here's what I did. I took some tissue paper. This is just the tissue paper that you normally use to wrap gifts with, and I decoupaged them onto the box using a decoupage medium. And in order to keep the ribbon on, because I wanted it to be real pretty, and a sticker will go here, a mailing label will go here, I just taped the ribbon right onto the box. So I know you can see it is very shiny, but it's also very secure, and it's not going anywhere. And the decoupage medium actually reinforces the box. This box right here, I painted it with some acrylic paint. Acrylic, acrylic paint is very forgiving because it'll cover up all of those stickers and things like that that you can't get off. So I painted it and then I just used a rubber stamp like this, and then I stamped stars all over it and then added some really pretty tape to that. This one, I love this one right here because you know what, duct tape, you can buy duct tape in so many different designs and colors right now. I just basically just covered up what I couldn't peel off or what somebody wrote on with really cool duct tape and a combination of some really pretty uh, decorative tape as well. And the, the other inspiration came to me from this box right here because somebody actually printed this out. It's all one printed piece. You can do that yourself if you have a nice printer and you have the time to make the designs. If you don't, then just use really pretty tape. And here's another idea. How about this? How about going like eco-friendly with some packing tape or with some packing peanuts instead of those styrofoam peanuts, you know, that just stick to everything? Try this. Try shedding, shredding some paper, right? Everybody's doing that this time of year. How about this? How about real peanuts instead of packing peanuts? Then you can eat them afterwards. Or candy. Candy works really well, too. So let me just show you real quickly some of the different colors of tapes and things like that that are out there right now that will inspire you. Uh, this is the duct tape I was talking about. You can get duct tape in so many different designs. Um, the really pretty packing tape, and I want to show you how cute this is going to look. And it doesn't always have to be traditional red and green, but I painted this box white with some acrylic tape or acrylic paint. And then I'm going to use this really super cute um, tape. It's called, what is it called? Fancy That Online. And here's what I love about it. It's clear. So whatever color you decide to paint your box, it's going to show through. Look at how cute that is to get like a really cute little polka dot box. I love this idea. And it's nice and secure. And it's going to look adorable when it arrives at the door. It's still plenty of room for labeling. The only thing you want to do, whatever you decide to add to your box, make sure that it's secure. Otherwise, the post office is going to be hunting me down, Susan, and I don't want that to happen. So by the way, I do have a few tips, the ones that I just shared you with some ideas of supplies. You can buy like that all online. And if you have a great idea on how you can, you know, make a pretty box, please share it with me on our Facebook page at Terrio S L L. That stands for Sonoran Living Live, in case you didn't know that. <laughs>